Hey, what is happening, everybody? Welcome back once again to The Pass is Alive, and thank you all for joining me for another live stream and a look at a brand new mystery pack product. I'm very excited to tear into this one. It's arrived in my P.O. box, I think, yesterday. It actually uh, didn't make that far of a trip. This is from a guy by the name of C. Gray. I didn't catch his first name, but I do know that he's pretty close by. He's about 45 minutes away, like in an area of Pittsburgh that I haven't been to in quite a while. I just know that they have a pretty sick skate park. It's been quite a few years since I've been out there. But thank you, C. Gray, for sending this. I'm eager to open it up because it seems pretty sick. But I got some paperwork here. We're going to check this out before we savagely tear into the Baseball's Back Celebration Hobby Box. Baseball returns April 7th. Get excited for that. But it starts off saying, uh, thank you for getting me back into the hobby. Watching your channel made me realize I wasn't alone in my love for Junk Wax. I hate that name. I, too, do not care for the name of Junk Wax either. It just kind of has stuck over the last few years. I'm back into the hobby wondering why I ever stopped collecting. I think that we are all there with you as well. And it uh, goes on to say, with baseball back on, I wanted to create a hobby box mystery pack that celebrated the fact that we are going to have baseball this year. I tried to put together a hobby box filled with cards of past stars and Hall of Famers as well as up-and-coming stars and rookies. This hobby box cost, or the hobby box cost is 100 bucks plus shipping. He has 80 available, and I have linked the eBay um, page down below in the description. Also pinned in the chat, so you can't miss it. The value of every box is, uh, is above the purchase price by a significant margin at the time of packing. The values were determined by Beckett Pricing and eBay comps. As a note, the box I sent you is actually not part of the 80, but it is the same configuration. So all the hits on the other page are still out there. I also included a few special extras for you in the green pack. Well, sweet. I cannot wait to see what those are. The in-depth details of the packs are on the next page. But they are full of rookies, Hall of Famers, Hall of Fame rookies, and stars. You will receive between 40 and 50 cards per pack, plus unopened wax or hanger packs. Well, we love those around here. There are some pretty good hits, including PSA and CSG graded cards, a raw 84 Donruss, and Fleer Mattingly, multiple raw 89 Griffies, a purple numbered Adley Rushman and more. But whether you get one of these hits or not, like I mentioned above, your box value will always exceed the purchase price. There's the eBay number, but like I said, I've made it very easy on everybody um, to buy these. $100 plus shipping. And uh, thanks from CJ. All right. Before we crack into this, let's check out some of these potential hits. So these are all PSA CSG graded cards that are possibilities inside of here. 2019. Heritage Soto PSA 10, 2011 Bowman Prospects Harper PSA 10, a Tatis Bowman Chrome from 2019 PSA 10, Luis Robert Bowman Chrome rookie PSA 10, Ben Attendee PSA 10. So these are all slabs. Gavin Lux rookie 10, Robert 9, a Jeter PSA 8 from 93 tops. So you get a feel for some of these big hits. And these are all the graded ones. So you can pause that if you want to or. Um, I think he has them linked in the eBay uh, listing as well. Here's a bunch of raw rookie singles we can get out of here, too. Love Don Mattingly rookie cards, 84 Don Russ and Fleer. Griffey in the iconic 89 upper deck, 93 Bowman Jeter. So lots, lots of potential rookie cards to be found in this product, which is what I like to find and collect the most. So this is right up my alley. Let's get down to it. I have no idea what to expect. I'm not sure what's in here. I have not opened this up yet, so we will do it together tonight. Hype is here, collectibles. What is happening? Cut this open without severing off my fingers. And hopefully we can recap when we return this weekend. I actually went out and bought a bunch more wax boxes today. I've been hoarding wax boxes lately, so... There'll be plenty of inventory for the store, and I got some stuff for future breaks and all kinds of goodies. So, big rookies, big rookies, no way we stop. Let's see what we got in the baseball's back. MLB Hobby Box Celebration. We got all kinds of different packs in here. I apologize for the short notice. I was going to make a standard video originally tonight, and I'm like, you know what the hell with making a standard video? That's not that much fun. I want to open these packs with everybody else. 92 Series 3 Wax Box. I didn't come across any of those, man, but we do have, you know what, Paul? It's been a while since you've seen or got a glimpse of our beloved walked in. And you know what? I just had it next to me, and I saw it the other day, and I was like, oh, I need to show it to Paul. And now I can't find it again. So, oh, there he is. 
It's been a while since we've seen this iconic levitating Wachton. So there you have it. Eat your heart out. We got some packs in here as well. And I'm very intrigued and eager to see what all will be contained inside of here. So wrapped up really nice. Keeps it from moving all over, all over the place. Which sometimes you open some of these repack mystery boxes and there's kind of just sloppily thrown in there. So not the case in this situation. But we have a pack of 91 Leaf Series 1 here. And look at that. I love that Bobby Bonilla card. Always like that one. 89 Tops Rack Pack. Jose Quendo on in dead center. And Terry Steinbach. Big time prospect back in those days. Rob G, what is happening, man? So we have a slew of unknown packs before us. And a random green pack. I guess that's extras for me. Uh, we'll open that. I guess we'll save that for last. Thank you, everybody else, for being here. I appreciate you guys. And it's good to see you. I should have a mail day video or something else for you tomorrow night. Hopefully we can recap Sunday. We'll do a continuation of an auction. Maybe even do an auction tomorrow night. Continue that from Wednesday's mishap. My internet was out for like two hours for whatever reason. All right, so very first pack we're going to tear into here. All right, look at Whoa, Bo Jackson rookie card. It comes out of nowhere. That's freaking awesome. Of course, uh, I think most of us have much love for that card and much respect for that as rookie card in general. But, ooh, Dante Bichette rookie in the back. This 89 upper deck. Anthony Volpe starting things off. I don't know if that's his first Bowman card or not. I feel like it is. And look at that, Wander Franco Bowman, second card in. Man, his cards are going crazy right now. Absolutely nuts. Very nice. Definitely did not have this one. It's a Bowman draft from 2019. That's pretty freaking awesome. Alec Bohm, rookie card. Very nice. That's definitely one I did not have. Doxy Chong, what is going on? When does a card shop open? April 16th. Rain or shine, hell or high water. April 16th is the day. Alzale, very nice. The future stars. I forget what kind of parallel this is. These aren't numbered, but I'm sure some of you guys can tell me as I don't open that much modern product. Future stars card there. We have an Alex Kirilov. Tops Chrome with a big, big Bud Light right in the background. This is a rookie debut. Tops, Tops Chrome, definitely a nice one. See, that's not one I would typically collect for my offensive signage collection because it's cut off. It has to have the entire uh, wording on there for me to really want to uh, keep it. Kind of like, you know, that uh, Wally Joyner Canseco that I packed, pulled the other day that has Budweiser real clear in the background that I pointed out, that I'm sure I pointed out before, but you can see the entire word right there to offend the little kids and parents alike, but still a nice one and nonetheless, Kirilov. And a Nick Gonzalez Bum and Crumb from the hometown Buckos. Jared Kellenick Future Stars card. This is one I have not seen yet. I don't know if I... I still have not opened any 2022 cards, so getting a glimpse of those firsthand. Alec Bohm, first Bowman. Will you have an online purchase area? You know, I've been thinking about that. I have a Facebook page for the store, so if you haven't gone and liked the actual Facebook store page, please check it out. I think there's like 10 people that have liked it or something like that. There's a, a group, and there's a store page, and I'm going to be updating... And uh, you can, like, merge, like, your Facebook page and your store together. I might just do that. They take, like, a little percentage of it. That way I don't have to worry about having a website and all this other stuff. And I can update it, like, frequently. Alec Bohm, first Bowman. Tim Raines, 91 Donruss. Be seeing those here real soon in a search for the in an elite card in general. There's a Harold Baines, 1990 Leaf, one of my favorite sets of all time. George Brett, MVP out of 1989 Donruss. Tango says, so my smoking and drinking problems are directly related to... Childhood baseball card trauma. I think a lot of us are there with you. Robbie Almar, second year 89 score. The Wade Boggs out of 1990 score. I always like those ones. Pretty sweet. Greg Maddox, 88 Donruss. And what do we have here at 81 Tops? Len Barker and Steve Carlton. I don't know if I've ever ripped 81 Tops. I think Paul L. could probably back that up. I don't think I've done 81. I think I did 82. Check this out, though. NL active career batting leaders, Pete Rose, Bill Madlock, and Dave Parker. Still trying to track down a Pete Rose rookie card. And they are just going to continue to go up in price as the years go on. There's a Ripken from 92 Donruss. All-Stars card, Lou Gehrig gets out of archives from maybe last year. 91 Tops design. Very nice. Lee Smith out of 90, 
one stadium club. And there's his iconic 82 tops card that you can usually get for like, I don't know, two bucks. At one point, the PSA 10s were like a thousand bucks. Dave Winfield, 83 tops all star card. That's a nice one. These are all pretty sharp looking, too. Sharp corners, corners and edges. Gaylord Perry, 83 tops. And this card was a pretty freaking big deal back in the day. 89 upper deck. Dante Bichette, the father of Bo. Very nice. Paul L says, don't recall 81 tops. Yeah, I guess I did do 81 Donruss because of those six Tim Raines spree that I had. What is cable? Yeah, I have not had cable TV in a very, very long time. So first pack down, lots of Hall of Famers. We had some rookie cards in there. Nice mixture of modern and the old stuff together. Here we have a Dunny Baseball, you know, Fleer. Starting things off. Search Pass is alive and it just takes me to the group. That sucks, man. I don't know why. I was trying to figure out a way to create a link to it. Maybe it's because I haven't completed a page. I don't know. I tried to post a link to it in the Facebook group, and it like, I don't know if it wasn't working right or not. <laughs> You're missing out on spicy Cinemax content. <laughs> Cinemax. Donnie Baseball starting things off. There's a Darren Dalton, 90 Bowman. Like that set, of course. Steve Finley, 91 Fleer. Of course, Steve Finley's rookie cards are in 89. Like that. Nelly Cruz, who just recently was traded to the Nationals. And what do we have here? George Springer. Another one of those star parallels. Like that one. Xander Bogarts. Bowman's best. Pretty awesome design. Bowman's best has always been awesome. I still think my favorite year will always be 94. We may have to rip those again. I feel like I've ripped them twice now. For Turn Back the Clock Tuesday. You may see it a third time. we got to flip out some more uh, on, our, on our refractor. These are on eBay. They're listed for 100 bucks plus, I think, $9 shipping around there. So they made, he's making, or he has 80 of them made up right now. Freddie Freeman, but i uh, curious to see what else we're going to find in here. This looks like it's a slab of some kind, just based off the shape of it. There's a Mike Trout, the 84 Donruss design. I almost bought that set again today. Acuna, the 1972 in action design. And Nolan Arenado just does not look right to me in a Cardinals jersey. Check this out, Cliff Lee. That is one from my rookie box. I don't, did not have that one. That's pretty sick for you Indians fans like Big John. If he's in here, definitely a uh, year I don't see too often. And 92 Bowman. That's a pretty decent, prominent rookie card there. I definitely have that one in my Bowman, or not my Bowman, my Bowman set, but also uh, the rookie box as well. Nice one there as well. Mookie Wilson, 86 tops. I was real pumped on Mookie Wilson as a young lad. Zach Wheeler, the purple parallel refractor. This one's not numbered, but get weird out seeing him in a Philly jersey, but just used to him playing for the Mets. Will Clark, Kent Herbeck, Fleer, 1990. Dave Island, 1990 rookie. Here's a Vince Coleman rookie card, 86 tops. Definitely one that I have in my rookie box as well. Benito Santiago, there's Jim Palmer, speaking of 82 tops. The sunburned face of Jim Palmer. Not nearly as bad as Zane Smith's, like Zorro sunburn that we pointed out in the 89 Bowman pack the other day. <laughs> Vigilante Zane Smith. Chris Sabo, 90 Leaf. Definitely got to have that for the Sabo box. Jack McDowell, who is definitely an omen here, and he knows it. He's cringing because he knows it. Mike Greenwell, 89 score. Very first factory set I ever owned. There's a Nigel Wilson. Man, was I pumped on his cards in general back in 93, especially his 93 per deck. I would have lost my freaking mind pulling out from a pack back in 93. Here's Matt Williams' Grand Slammer. 91 Don Russell was an insert set. Joe Carter's 88 Fleer. And there is Pat Mahomes from my favorite set ever. A non-dorky photo. Almost identical front and back. Johnny Ron, what is happening? So we're two packs down. We still have three more to go. We have a rack pack and a foil pack. I guess we'll do this one next. Feels like there's something thick in here. It's going to be a project 2020. It is. Whoa, look at that. That is pretty freaking awesome. Mike Trout Project 2020. Wow. With the picture from his iconic 2011 update rookie card. Very, very nice. I know these were pretty freaking hot there for a while. I'm not sure what the value is on them right now, but uh, for a while there, they were, these were skyrocketing. That is an awesome-looking card, though. I have a couple of these 2020s. I didn't have any Mike Trout, so check that out. 
freaking nice hit there, to say the least. And we still have two more left. I wasn't sure how many packs were in here because I didn't really dive into it all that much. That's why I figured we'd do a live stream. Plus, it's just cool to open packs with your friends in general. Joe Carter, yeah. I once called Joe Carter a Hall of Famer when I was getting back into it. If Corey was here, which he's not, and we must point that out, he will definitely back that up. Definitely a nice card. Very nice. So we have a slab inside of here. Maybe we should save it for last. I don't know. We'll save that for last. It could be a big freaking hit. This is an extra pack that he threw in for me. So CJ, thanks again for sending this. Definitely fun ripping these open. And there's some nice cards in here too. Let's see what we have in the extra pack. It could be full of omens. Whoa, Paul Molitor. That's pretty freaking awesome, man. I don't know if you heard me say I PC'd Molitor back in the 90s. And um, I had a decent, I don't know. It was decent for like a 13-year-old kid or whatever. A 12-year-old kid. I probably had like 100 of his cards. But... Definitely didn't have any numbered Paul Mahler's number, like 299. I've never even seen one of these patches numbered, so that's pretty awesome. 245 out of 299, probably out of 20, what is that, 2020? 2021. Very nice. Thank you very much, CJ. <laughs> Look at that, Mickey Weston. There's one that I have not seen before. And I was looking on eBay today, actually, to see if these Westons are selling, because there's a few of them in sold listings. People are buying this card, and people are buying the Dennis Cook. There's an absolute craze for the Dennis Cook 93 upper deck. I think there's like 25 sold in her one listing. <laughs> there's like 10 watchers. This card is taking the world by storm. Day by day. You gotta own it. If you collect cards and you need to own both of those cards. And here's Mickey Weston's rookie card. 1990 score one I've never seen. The three-headed Mickey Weston trifecta is complete. That is glorious. Let us see what is in this? It feels like a slab. This is the last order of business before we open some rack packs. It's a PSA slab. Who's it going to be? Let's pull it out this way. Mikey B, what is happening, man? Thank you. I appreciate that. It's good to see you in here. Anybody else that was in here the Wednesday, during the Wednesday night auction mishap that happened that was awful? It was something with, the, with my Wi-Fi. We will continue that again like maybe tomorrow night or Monday. I don't know. Sometime soon. And then the shipping will be combined. I haven't sent anything out yet, so I'll keep it all. Looks like we have an 89 Donruss here. Uh, not 89, 87, I mean. 87 Donruss. And whoa, look, it's actually a card that I pack pulled last night. It's a Barry Bonds 87 Donruss rookie card. And it is a PSA. I gotta be a jerk and. <laughs> all right, let's see if we can guess what it is. Uh, side to side looks pretty decent. I'm going to guess it's a 9, though. I'm going to say it's a 9. What do you guys think? 8 or 9, 8 or 9, 8 or 9. It's an 8. Shows how well I am at grading cards. Don't send me your cards to a <laughs> grader of praise. That is pretty freaking awesome. Barry Bonds, Near Mint Mint, PSA 8. Freaking sweet. That was definitely a lot of fun. We still have a couple more packs to rip into. Check it out. Jackson Rookie, Trout 2020, Barry Bond Slab, PSA 8, Molitor numbered, and of course, Mickey Weston cannot be forgotten about. 91 Leaf. Let's see if we'll find a Willie Banks, Gold Leaf Rookie. Anyone remember that time Barry Bonds hit all those home runs? <laughs> Barry Bonds and his old tree trunk neck. Justin Vick says, I think you hit the $100 barrier. That's what he, I mean, that's what he, how he advertises it, is that he advertises it's going to be at least what you're paying for it. We got Kurt Gibson starting things out. Joseph C. posted a link to the store page. Nice. Thank you, Joseph. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't figure out how to do it. I kept trying to share it. It like, wasn't letting me. Albert Bell. There's Jim Abbott. Pulled his rookie out of the Jam Pack box recently. Orsalak. Danny Tartable, who I think, uh, I don't know. The last thing I heard about Danny Tartable is he was getting his car repossessed by somebody. Eric Hansen, Felix for men who I hated real bad. What what in the hell is going on in this photo? It's like some sort of crazy, like, I don't even know, 70 or 80s, like, Japanese, like, Taekwondo flick. Like, it's just, there is legs and, like, appendages everywhere in this photo. This is absolutely ridiculous. It looks like someone's about to drop kick Felix for men. That is a, there's so much action going on in that one photo. That is 
Ridiculous. Joe Girardi, David Cohn, Davey Johnson. That Felix Ferman is definitely a Mandela effect because I've never seen that. Chris James, Scott Sanderson, puzzle piece of Harmon Killebrew. There's way too many feet in that picture. We got one more pack left. What do you have in the back? John Franco. I used to hate Jose Aquendo real bad, too. Hated him. I don't know why. The Karate Kid Japanese remix. Let me rip this open off camera so I don't knock anything over. Who hasn't drop kicked Felix from in? <laughs> All right. <laughs> After this, stick around because we're opening. Ah, uh, what do we got here? Let's open. Uh, what's the most cringeworthy thing I have on my shelf? I got some pretty cringy things. Andy Fleer. Over 90 Fleer. 89 tops. These are fresh. Fred Lynn looks pretty depressed in that photo. Andre Dawson, quite the opposite. Paul O'Neill. Man, I freaking love this card. I feel like I need to get this in the PSA 10 just for the hell of it. I don't know why, but uh, something about it. I love it. Paul Molitor, again, 91 Fleer Ultra. I actually don't have a box of 91 Fleer Ultra, and I'm like, I'm actually excited that I don't have a box of that because it's absolute crap. Like, I freaking hate opening 91 Ultra. It is awful. Ricky Henderson, Alvin Davis. That's now 62 names on the hated list. <laughs> it is ever-growing. Don Slott, Ron Hassey, Nelson Liriano is a Terry Steinbach, Jer John Candelaria. What kind of conversation was going on there? It's very deep in thought or thinking of a comeback or something. Roberto Kelly, second year card. Scott Sanderson again. A goofy, goofy look on his face. McGaffigan, Larry Parrish. I thought it was going to be a John Smoltz rookie for a second there, but we do have a Brady Anderson rookie. Joel says, are we getting a weekend recap video? You know what? I was talking about that earlier today. There definitely should be a weekend recap this, this Sunday because I bought a bunch of wax boxes. I got some singles. I got a couple rookie cards today. Whole reason I wasn't doing it was because I wasn't. Uh, there was like nothing going on. Like all the places around me are like blown out. The weather was crap. So now that uh, the weather is nice again, there should be some yard sales and stuff tomorrow. Joe Hesketh, pretty creepy look on his face. Eric Karos. Yeah, Eric Karos is the only good rookie card in '91 Ultra. The rest all made it into the uh, update set. What the? What is it? It's like a bunch of like cocaine residue, like all around <laughs> Sparky Anderson's face. No gum in here, so I don't know. Just rubbing together over the last 30-plus years. Mike Witt, Kelly Downs, Bob Ojeda, Bobby Bonilla. I used to love that card, too. Ken F. says, so sorting out all the boxes of random baseball I've come across a lot. I mean, a lot of rookies. I'm also the one that posted the three Roy Halladay's on the Facebook page. I don't know if I saw that or not. Rick Dempsey. There's Raphael Palmero pulled his rookie out of Jam Pack or Retro Wax Box last night. Pete Rose, I think I screwed up earlier, too. I, I pulled the Barry Bonds out of Retro Wax Box. I got the two of those mixed up there for a second because I opened them so close to each other. Pete Rose, I'm pretty freaking pissed off. Shane Raleigh. Tom Kelly. Gibby. <laughs> Bob Rogers. See, as a kid, I hated pulling manager cards so bad, unless it was like Jim Leland. I freaking hated it. And um, I don't really care for it much these days, either. Jerry Reed. And John Franco to end that pack. That was <laughs> that was Sparky Anderson's dead skin. Oh, that is so true. I don't know why I didn't think of that, but Sparky Anderson dead skin relic, freaking dead skin mask tribute to Slayer. I appreciate that, Jonathan H. Jonathan H. You can meet him live in person. He'll be doing a stand-up act for us on April sixteenth as we open two boxes of yak packs. Joseph C says, even Coke residue can't, <laughs> can't make Sparky smile. It just made his face numb to the point where he didn't even know that he was uh, just, had a, just had a hostile look on his face. Actually, after that, I think he kind of turned things around a little bit. Maybe not. I don't know. He's a very angry person in general. But check it out, though. The uh, Baseball's Back MLB Holly Box. I've linked it in the description. I've pinned it in the chat. $100 plus shipping on eBay. Try your luck at some of these big freaking hits and potential rookie pulls you can pull out of there. But um, I don't really have anything else for you guys tonight. We're not really going to sit here and open 91 Fleer Ultra. That was just a tease. But perhaps we will do that someday soon. And hopefully we'll have a mail day for you tomorrow. We can recap on Sunday. And then maybe we'll reconvene the auction on Monday. 
might be doing a couple more of those here soon too as the shop opens. But April 16th is the day that will live on in infamy. So make sure your calendars are cleared for that. And um should be a good time. So I'll keep you all updated. Check out the uh, the Facebook store page if you have not already. Um, and like the page and keep up to, t- up to date with that. And it says 416 of buy my plane tickets confirmed. It's confirmed by word of mouth, man. Like My actions are another thing. But it, it's definitely going to open, like I said, regardless. Even if, if, even if I have nothing in there, it's still going to be April 16th. So... Yeah, mark that date on your calendars and show up. It should be a good time. I want to get like a, I, I want to get like a Polaroid camera and and like get like a bulletin board so everyone that comes from out of town or whatever else we can take a picture, put it on there, and you can write your like YouTube name or something like that. I think that'd be pretty sick. Maybe not. I don't know. But uh, if you think it's sick, let me know because uh, I will definitely buy a Polaroid camera and do that. But check out the Facebook page. Keep up to date with that and. Um, yeah, check out the eBay listing for the baseball's back box. Drop me comments down below. Let me know if you think it's worth it. If you plan on getting one, always like to hear from you. And um, I will hopefully see you back all tomorrow night. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.